Hello guys, welcome to the course of Cake PHP 4 Ajax based CRUD operation. Now before taking this course, we want to know that what we will learn inside this whole course. So as the course name suggests that inside this course we are going to learn a Cake PHP 4 Ajax CRUD operation. It means Cake PHP is a PHP framework and 4 indicates its version. So by the by the use of this PHP framework of its fourth version, we are going to create a CRUD application. And all the requests will process using Ajax. So CRUD indicates create, read, update, and delete. So we are going to create a CRUD application using Cake PHP framework and all the requests will process using Ajax. Now let's summarize step by step what we'll do inside this course. So firstly, we will do a Cake PHP 4 setup inside our local system. Then we will create migrations. By the help of those migrations, we'll create a dynamic table inside our application. And then we'll create our routes and controllers, which is going to control our application flow. Now next we need to create some layouts, some parent layout as well as some error templates because as we know inside this course after creating any data we want to give a confirmation to user so that's why we will use the concept of flash helper. And we are going to use the Ajax concept to process our request. So while sending any request to server, also we need to attach a CSIF token. So by the help of this course, we will understand that how to process a Ajax request using token inside GigPHP. And all about our HTML helper methods like CSS method, script method, meta method. So all these methods we will understand inside this course. So this is not only CRUD application inside this course, also we will understand about the basic flow of a Cake PHP application, all about our Flash helper, HTML helper, routes and controller basics. All about that how to create a template file like a parent layout inside Cake PHP, all the basics you will learn inside this course. And also, obviously this is a CRUD application using Ajax, so also we understand that what actually the proper flow using Ajax we can process inside application. So let's see our final application developed. So after this final course, after means at the end of this course, you will get something like application where we will have a list students layout in which we will list all the students what we will create from this add student. So let's create few student and as we can see here, we have add student form so when i click on this button submit as we can see we have validation so also we'll see inside this course all about validation messages so let's create our first student let's pass some dummy value put a number here gender let's choose a profile image when I click on this submit button, as you can see, student has been created. Go inside this list student. So here is the student listed what we have created. Now if you want to edit some information, click on edit. Let's put our updated value here. Click on submit. Student has been updated. Go to list. Student has been updated. Now if you want to delete this student, click on delete. It is asking for a confirmation. Click on OK. And as we can see, student has been deleted. So this is an overview of application, what we will create inside this whole course. So you are going to learn several things inside this or a small course. You will get from basics to advanced concept. And by the help of this confidence, you can build or advanced level admin panel using this CRUD applications. So I hope we will meet in the next sessions with a great happiness. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.